Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network and I have a story that's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida, okay? So Wretched Florida is once again back in the news. This story is just extremely disturbing. It's about a 15 year old boy. His name is Gregory Ramos and basically he killed his mother and the reason why he killed his mother is because of his bad grades, okay? So he brought home a D and the mother was chastising him like we do as parents, wanting him to you know, bring his grades up, do the right thing and instead of him listening to his mother and listen to what she had to say he then proceeds to choke the life out of her okay but if that's not bad enough after he thought that he killed his mother he goes and gets a wheelbarrow he puts in the wheelbarrow and he finds out that the mother is still breathing then he proceeds to take another 30 minutes out of his day to choke his mother to death okay he ends up choking her to death he ends up calling two friends to help him dispose and burn her body this story is so fucking disturbing i mean it's just hard to wrap your mind around just all the evil that's going on in this world i want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary this was i mean it, it took it, his own words were it took 30 minutes to kill his mother cold calculating callous that's how detectives describe this 15 year old boy gregory ramos accused of strangling his mother then reporting her missing i just started crying out here because i like you know because i can't imagine getting that call or husband friends and neighbors knew gail clevenger as a kind caring wife mom and friend i'm gonna miss her and i think it's a terrible tragedy it wasn't very emotional about it at all Detectives say the son confessed without remorse. The two allegedly argued Thursday over his grades. Detectives say the son waited until his mom went to bed that night, choked her, got a wheelbarrow for her body, then found she was still breathing, so again choked the life from her. He drove around with her body, allegedly dumped the wheelbarrow in another town. Then detectives say he called two friends to help cover up the killing and stage a robbery at the family's home. It's heartbreaking to sit down with the family because the family's lost everything. Sheriff's investigators tell us Greg Ramos and his friends took his mother's body and buried it here in this fire pit behind a church. They would hang back at this fire pit. So it was a very well-known place for him, a place that he felt comfortable coming to. Ramos faces murder charges and the other boys are accused as accessories. The sheriff is recommending they all be tried as adults, calling the teen at the center of this a sociopath. He was a soulless individual who thought he was the smartest person in the room. He th also stated to us that he believes he deserved a Grammy for the way he performed with the 911 call. From DeBerry Today Malibu. in Volusia County, surrounding the murder of Gail Clevenger of DeBerry. Are you Gregory Logan Ramos? Detectives say the victim's 15-year-old son, Gregory Ramos, strangled her, then reported her missing a day later. The two allegedly argued Thursday over grades. I do have an order to take juvenile into custody on a charge of first degree premeditated murder, a capital felony. Ramos will remain in the custody of the Department of Juvenile Justice. Investigators say he took his mother's body to another town, then allegedly called two friends to help cover up the killing and stage a robbery at the family's home. We are not showing the co-defendants' faces or their parents because they are minors. Both 17-year-olds are charged with accessory after the fact, first degree premeditated murder. Attorneys for both boys asked that the teens be released to their parents with home confinement. Parents and grandparents were in court today. If your son were to be released, would you uh, ensure that he comes to any future court dates? Yes. The other teen's grandmother, who has custody, said, Are you able to sufficiently monitor him? If he stays in the house, I definitely can. The judge ordered home confinement for both with electronic monitoring, plus conditions. Remain confined to the house and that he remain confined to the county of his residence, Volusia County. And that both boys should have no contact with the co-defendants or the victim's family. One teen works in Sanford. I get a ride from my grandmother. All right, if grandma takes you, you may go to uh, Seminole County to your place of employment only. Both teenagers will have no internet use unless it's for school purposes. I'm Gail Pascal brown West 2 News. New
when I tell you this entire situation is just disturbing, okay? And then the fact that they were even saying in the article that he was saying that he feels like, you know, he should have won a Grammy for his 911 performance. He did such a good job. This young man literally is a psychopath, okay? He has no emotion. He does not care. Just looking in his fucking dead blue ass eyes. He just looks like he has no emotion, no soul. And then I just hate the fact that they're trying to treat the other ones. They're trying to coddle the other ones who are 17. These two guys were just as complacent because when he caught them, they didn't go and tell the police. They didn't go and alert their parents. They, they then proceeded with their friend to go and dump the body and burn this woman. So I don't understand why the one kid is still allowed to go to work. Is a mother able to go to work? Is she able to live her life? But then they're worried about him being able to get to work and they're worried about the grandmother, you know, keeping an eye on him while they're home on ankle monitoring. They should not be home. They should be in juvenile detention somewhere because they were complicit to murder after the fact. They're just as wicked as their damn friend. I would, somebody would call me and be like, you know what, I just killed somebody, I need your help. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Click, okay? I mean, like, is, is that too hard to do? I mean, that's insane. It's one thing if you don't want to call the police, he done already killed the woman. But how do you go and then go help dispose of the body of your friend's mother? And then now the courts are trying to act like these kids are victims and we're just going to keep them at home on monitoring? No, both of these kids are sick. They really are. I'm going to need Florida to get it to damn gather, okay? I need all these kids to go to damn jail for this bullshit. So because you got bad grades and you didn't want to take personal responsibility for your fuck up, your response to getting a bad grade, instead of you, you know, saying, okay, mom, I'm going to try better second semester. I'm going to try and study harder. I'm going to try and do the right thing to make you proud. Your response to your mom chastising you over a D is to kill her, is to sit there and choke the life out of her. If that ain't some evil demonic ass stuff, I don't know what is. This story just pissed me off because you should be able to chastise your kids. You should be able to tell them to do better, that you expect better without, you know, fearing that they might come into your bedroom and choke you to death. What kind of sick shit is this? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite damn state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.